Hello everybody! Welcome to your general weekly reading for the week beginning October 9th, 2017. I hope you're enjoying your fall so far. I hope that wherever you are, it is still the beginning of the fall, unlike where I am, where most of the leaves are already dead and the trees are bare. Um, and we've already had our first snowfall, which has been awesome. So today, actually, the weather is very nice. It's sunny, so I'm grateful for that. But I hope wherever you are, it's sunnier and that you have a prettier fall than we do. So, um, yeah, that's my rant for about that. How was your week last week? That full moon was a bit of a killer for me. I don't know about you guys, but uh, it was good. Released a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of my garbage became very clear to me, so it was great. If you would like to share, I would love to hear about it. You can send me a comment below or send me a direct message. Um, I would love to hear about how your week was, what was coming up for you, what you were able to work on. Anything like that, anything interesting or anything you want to share, I would love to hear it. So this week, tuning in, um, lots of throat stuff. So lots of speaking your truth, um, lots of blocks. So if you're finding that it's difficult for you to share how you're feeling, uh, to express yourself, to stand up for yourself, there is some blocks in your throat and you should look at that. So you can clear those um, many, many ways. Uh, my favorite way is actually just going into the chakra. That takes a little bit of practice, so if you don't get it right off the bat, just keep on practicing. Um, you can smudge, you should always smudge all of your chakras, but um, intentionally putting the smoke, not inhaling it, <laughs> but like holding it here and kind of waving it into your throat to clear out anything in there. Um, you can use crystals, you can use um, pieces of stained glass. This is for the crown because it's purple, but uh, you can use it if you have like a blue one, you can hold it just at your throat. Uh, you can use crystals, you can use a, like a flashlight and then shine it through the crystal uh, to just magnify it a little bit. Um, holding intentions, of course, if you are going to a yoga class or workout or something like that, you can intend that you want to clear out your chakras, but specifically anything blocking you from speaking your mind. I think that this is kind of going along the same theme as uh, we've been talking about for the last little while, standing in your power, standing up for your needs, um, and also finding that balance. So finding that balance between talking too much and not talking at all. Um, and opposite of those of you who shares your feelings, what you think too much, um, it might be that there's a block there that's um, preventing you from thinking about things or um, empathizing with other people and understanding their perspective. So alternatively, if you're one of those people who kind of sticks their foot in their mouth quite a bit, this might be a good time for you to go into that a little bit. Look at those blocks. Why is it making you say things that you didn't mean or things that were hurtful or anything like that? Good time to look at that because our power center is lives in our solar plexus but I always when I'm with my clients I see a lot of the time it's in the voice especially for women um, a lot of this is turned off um, or it's blocked so a lot of your power is from here you want to speak from your diaphragm to give out a powerful presence and you know singers they sing from their diaphragm instead of uh, their throat but this is where a lot of those power blocks I see are living is in the throat um, this is also like any anxiety towards um, standing up for yourself or um, being assertive or telling somebody that they hurt your feelings so work on the throat chakra this week if you have any more questions on how you want to clear your chakras, you can send me a message and I will give you some other practical tools or I can send you a guided meditation to clear that all out. Or if you need something a little bit more invasive, we can, invasive, that sounds so scary, but a little bit more thorough, we can do that together. We can set up a Reiki session or anything like that and we can clear your chakras together. Um anything else there's also anxiety I'm feeling in the chest so 
if you are going through a little bit of a heartbreak, my sending my love to you. I am just sit with that for a little while and, you know, feel it out and let it, let it kind of move through you a little bit. Um, any sort of panicky situations, any uncomfortable situations that you may be facing this week, know that it's coming up for a reason. And once you can sit with it and you can give it a stage, then it'll go away. So, um, meditation is a lot of that. So sitting with those uncomfortable feelings, um, and being okay with them and not trying to change them. So, you know, give your worries a stage, give your emotions, your fears a stage so that they can move through you. Sounds good. Okay, perfect. So I don't, I hope that you've noticed by now, I hope this is actually showing up in the video, all of the rainbows all over the room. I do like this time of year because these rainbows are coming in because of a crystal in the window. Um, but the rainbows haven't been this bright because there's been leaves blocking the sun at that angle. So now that the leaves are gone, it's shining rainbows all over the room. So I hope that you see this way more now that it's fall. So that's very exciting. That's one exciting thing um, about our rapid fall here in Calgary, Alberta. So anything else in the general energy? Yeah, again, just taking care of yourself nourish yourself and however you need all of those self-love activities that are all good um don't be afraid to take care of yourself this week um and for us canadians thanksgiving is this weekend so if you um can avoid eating only crap this weekend that would be really great i know for myself i'm gonna have to control myself around the pumpkin pie because all i want to do is just eat pumpkin pie but that's not the best thing for me to be eating so i have to rein it back in especially with all of those energies that are coming in this week we just want to be on our game and making sure that our bodies are supported so that we can transmute the energy that's coming in and work with it a little bit easier so that this anxiety doesn't feel like anxiety and again i'm interpreting this in my own body how it feels to me you could feel the energy completely different, but the theme is kind of along the same lines. Anything that you're feeling in the heart space or um, any sort of thing that gives you anxiety, whether it is speaking in public or anything like that, it's a great week to work on that. So even just going into it or starting to ask yourself those questions, you can start to move along so that those feelings aren't there anymore. Because once they're gone, they're gone forever. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to send me an email. I will leave my contact information below or you can send me a comment. <sighs> okay, moving on. So I'm gonna pull four cards. The first deck that I'm going to be using is the Crystal Mandala Oracle. The Crystal Mandala Oracle card deck by Alana Fairchild. So these cards again are absolutely beautiful. If you are into cards, you should definitely pick them up. They have powers in them as well as messages. And there's a whole bunch of information on how to integrate the energy and all of that stuff. So um, the angels were really pushing me towards using these this week because it's just that little bit of extra healing um, in addition to this reading. So what are we dealing with the general theme for this week? What do we need help with? Yeah, lots of blocks in the throat. Passion of the Lion Heart. Goddess Sekhmet and Fire Agate. So, hit pause right now so you can just stare at this for a little while in a relaxed state. Um, you can even drag and drop it in your chest and in your throat. to get that healing in there. So this fire, so they're immediately just showing me um, a good way to clear yourself is to just imagine yourself in your mind's eye, um, pretty much up in flames and it's consuming everything, all the blocks, everything that shouldn't be there, all of the negativity, all of that stuff that isn't yours or the stuff that's not productive. So just imagine you consuming it being 
Just imagine all of that stuff being consumed by the fire and then all that remains is just a beautiful sparkling light being. Um, so then of course once you clear all that stuff up you want to fill yourself up with light. And if you don't want to do that in two steps you can always just do it in one step using a violet fire because violet fire transmutes everything into light. So that's a really great one to use every day but specifically this week this is coming up. So passion of the lion heart. So for those of you who know your spirit animal and it's a big cat, this is a great week for you um, to call in your spirit guides um, and your spirit animals to assist you. Um, and also engaging in those passions this week will help to kind of ground and anchor in the energy that you're feeling, anything that you may be going through. So. A lion, the king of the jungle, um, or the savanna, I guess. So be that, embody that. Um, if you meditate every morning, imagine the lioness or the lion awakening inside of you and becoming you, and you come out into the world as the lion. Wow, I'm wearing a leopard shirt. So talk about cats. They've been trying to get my attention all morning, and I haven't even... Sorry, guys. So anyways... Um, be the lion or the lioness. Um, embody that power and that confidence and the responsibility of being the king. And um, don't take no shit from people. So um, use the fire to clear out those blocks so that you can express yourself with love um, to people and that you can stand up for yourself. That's pretty much it for that one. Um, I think that these might be online. Uh, the crystal mandala cards, the meanings might be online. So I would, if you were interested in using that card more, if that really resonated with you, I would look it up online and get all of the invoking information, invocation information on there because there's about, there's a ton of energy about each one of these cards on, um, in like the guidebook, but it also talks about affirmations and things like that, that you can use to um, embody that presence and um, to invoke the energy and to bring it into your life. And so me giving you the gist of what the angels want from this card may not be enough for you. So that's totally fine. Go in the guidebook and look and get more information from it. <sighs> okay, so moving on. The block is still there, which makes me think that we haven't addressed it fully. It's kind of feels like there's a lump in my throat, you know, and you kind of want to cry, but you're holding it back. For those of you who are not expressing yourself, you're not expressing your emotions and you're choking down your emotions and your feelings, allow them to come up this week. Allow them to, the word they're using is erupt. Let it explode. Um, in a in a safe environment, like at home or something like that, let it out. Have a good ugly cry if that's what you need to do. Scream into a pillow if that's what you want. Go kickboxing. Get it out because it's clouding your judgment. It's clouding your energy, and it's preventing you from moving forward and fully stepping into that lion power. Um, and so I think the eruption they're talking about is um because the cat the big cat energy is coming in this week to push us it's going to push you to express yourself so know that there's absolutely nothing wrong with expressing yourself um and just make sure that you are doing it in ways that work for you in ways that make you feel good so Having an ugly cry may not feel good at the time, but you'll sure you will sure feel good after you have done it. You'll feel clear, um, and you've kind of allowed that energy to seep out of you and back into the earth. So, do what you got to do. Okay, so what are we dealing with on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Whoa. Oh my god, a hundred cards just fell out. 
So I'm not gonna include them in the reading, but I'm going to let you guys know because they are relevant. It's a ton of water cards, which symbolizes um, emotions. So there they are here. So a very emotional time. But what's also very interesting is, that was the middle of the week. Okay, uh, there is also two, a uh, justice card again. Wow, there are also two major arcana. So major arcana, um, not a whole lot of control that we have in this situation. It's usually major life events, universal events, universal energy. So this justice and renewal. So this makes me want to pair up the water cards. Oh, there's so many cards to hold. <laughs> All of the water cards are coming up very emotional week allow that to happen if you are finding yourself very emotional there's nothing wrong with you it is the impacts of the full moon as well as the universal energy coming in and so standing in that cat power will help you to get through it because you know that you're strong you know that you can do it you know that you can move through it and you will come out being renewed so you um so the fire right the phoenix the phoenix burns up and then is reborn from the ashes. So the same kind of thing happening. If some a big event comes in to, and occurs to occurs this week for you, it's not the end of the world. Just allow yourself to reemerge from the ashes, reborn um, and anew. So just op being open to that renewal um, and open to the um, beautiful emotional energy. And the sooner you feel your emotions, the sooner that they will go. One thing I have definitely learned in my life and what I have observed from other people, whatever you don't deal with, it's not gone. It will come up eventually. So everything resurfaces at some at some point. It's easier to deal with it when it comes up because then you actually know mentally, you couldn't understand maybe what's happening, why you're feeling a certain way versus when you're just choking it down for so long, it's hard to recognize and it's hard to understand it on a mental level. And it's also much more painful. So the Justice card is coming up again. So Infinity too. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of emotions this week, a lot of emotional stuff happening. So there's nothing wrong with you guys if you are dealing with that. Just move on as beautifully and as you feel comfortable. Just take the time that you need. Um, and allow the balance to come into your life again. So allow the emotions to move through you so that you can bring balance to your life once more. And knowing what you need to do and knowing what is right for your own individual self. That's about, that is standing in your own power. And um, finding balance within yourself. So find balance this week, allow whatever needs to come in, move through you because it is going to bring a renewed energy. And we have three emotion cards that hopped out of the deck. I haven't looked at the other ones yet, but it is a very emotional week. So emotions don't always have to rule your life, but this week you'll be very emotional. So just keep that in the back of your mind so that if you are having a super emotional week, you're not fighting against it and trying to choke it down even more. You can allow it to come up in a safe place so that it doesn't explode in another area of your life that um, doesn't need to happen. Perhaps at a grocery store. You don't need to have a good ugly cry at the grocery store. You can have that at home where you can do it in the own comfort of your own home and your own space. And then no one will look at you weird unless you have a spouse or an animal who thinks you're nuts. But you know that you're not nuts. You know that you're a human being with emotions and you are allowed to feel your emotions and however that needs to express itself for you is completely fine. So find balance again. So balance has been a huge theme the last week for sure um, and going forward again. And so this emotional energy will assist you in finding that balance. Okay. Whew. Oh my God, another big cat. Okay, so here we go. We have the strength card. Um, so this is Archangel Ariel. 
The other cards, sorry, were Archangel, Jeremiah, and Raguel. So of course, work with those beings this week, as well as the goddess, Sekhmet. I know I'm not saying her name right, but here we go. Work with them this week to help you with your energy. Um, another Moana card. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> okay, so going back to the strength cards. The beginning of the week, another major arcana card. We have a big cat here. We have another angel and a beautiful setting. Kind of want to live there. Um, so again, awakening that cat within your being and allow it to express itself the way it needs to be expressed and to be that powerful person that you are um, and not allowing your blocks to hold you back anymore, expressing yourself the way that you need to be expressed and finding that inner strength within yourself to move through it and to know that there's absolutely nothing wrong with anything that you're feeling. It just needs to be expressed in however way you need to healthily do that. Um, so releasing harsh judgments about yourself and others and also um, connecting to that deep inner strength. If you do have something that kind of shatters your world and you feel completely broken, live in that for a little while um, just so that you can feel it and move through it, but also know that you do have the strength to move past it um, and to continue on on your path. You do have great inner strength. And then when you feel like you don't, just call upon your angels to help you through that. So the middle of the week, we have the six of earth, gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. So somebody's job, something interesting might happen with your job this week. For some people, um, there might be a happy change on the horizon. For example, maybe you wanted a severance package for a little while now, and this week you may get it, or in the next few weeks, because this is a general reading. So um, being open to receiving any opportunity. So because this is an earth card, this is very material, uh, third world dimensional reality. So we have gifts, we have time, abundance, however that may come in for you. Just open your arms to receiving whatever it is that needs to come in to help you through. Um, so middle of the week, be open to any opportunities at work, anybody approaching you for any awesome business ideas, anything like that. Just being open to receiving and then checking in with yourself to see if that is something that resonates with you. Um, for some of you, a lot of money is coming in this week. So finally being able to pay off those loans or those debts. Um, or perhaps even you're able now to go on a trip. So that's very exciting. So this middle of the week is a great time for financial responsibility. And just being open to anything that comes in. Um, and for the weekend, we have nine of water. Your wish is coming true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. So here we are, the end of the week. Oh, yes, it's another emotions card, but it's towards the end of the cycle. Um, and we have the 10 of water uh, of those cards that fell out before. So yes, you are moving through the emotional cycle. It's not going to remain here for very long. So just allowing it to move through you so that you're able to move on to other things. Um, and that is a sense of power as well. It's a sense of strength, allowing yourself to feel those very uncomfortable emotions. We like to believe that strength means not showing emotions or not being affected by the emotions, which is quite the opposite. It takes great strength to sit with misery and feel it and allow it to move through you and not allow it to become you. So you are a strong individual and you are capable of so much. You just need to give yourself the damn credit. And so this is telling you that all of that hard work is paying off. Your wishes are coming true. Your dreams are manifesting. You are coming to the end of an emotional cycle. So perhaps next week there will be no emotion cards, perhaps. There will be no um, ugly feelings of blocks or stuck emotions. We can just move right on through. So just give yourself that time to move through it. Utilize this energy this week to feel those emotions and let them move through you so that you're not holding on to this next week and you can't, uh, you don't have the space to deal with whatever's coming up next week. You're clearing out this stuff so that you can move forward and work on something else next week or maybe next week will be a great week and you can just open your arms to receive all of the abundance that you want 
to come into your life because you've cleared out all of that old garbage. So that's that. I hope that you have a fantastic week ahead knowing that you are not crazy and that you are simply allowed to feel your emotions and that you are you should honor the lioness within yourself and embody the lion as you move through your week. Embrace those emotions, allow yourself to feel them so that they can leave to make room for the abundance that wants to come into your life. If you have any questions or if you need any assistance this week, please do not hesitate to give me a shout. I would love to hear from you. You can comment on this video or you can email me at thejourneytospirit at gmail.com and come and visit me at katiehunt.ca. I would love to see you there. Um, and again, if you need any assistance moving through any energy, if you want a Reiki session or a card reading or anything like that, um, private guided meditations, I can do that for you as well. Just let me know. I'd be happy to help you. I'm sending you so much love this week and remember that you are amazing and that I love you and that your emotions are a beautiful gift uh, because they are your greatest teacher. So sending you so much light and love. Have a fantastic Thanksgiving if you are in Canada. Um, and for the rest of us, for everyone really, um, Thanksgiving, it has kind of an ugly start uh, historically, but I like to think of it as a beautiful time to reflect and give gratitude. So think about all of the beautiful things in your life that you are grateful for um, and spread the love and let yourself express to everyone that you need to, how much you love them and how much, how grateful you are for the people in your life. So have a fantastic week for the third time and... Contact me if you have any questions. Thank you so much for being here.